I already talked about how to deal with the area and perimeter of common shapes, but what do you do if the shapes aren't regular or they're a little wonky? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new videos, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now, I already told you guys itong pag-usapan natin is a little more advanced. So if you don't know the basics when it comes to the formula and rules sa mga shapes, wag niyo muna to panoorin. Go and catch up muna. Hit the I button dito sa taas. Click nyo dyan para mapanood nyo yung mga earlier videos para malaman ninyo yung mga basics or fundamentals natin. Okay? And I've, once you've seen those, you can go back here so we can talk about this ng medyo mas may onti na kayong background dahil mas advanced tong lesson na ito. Okay? And in order for me to explain better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's talk about yung area and perimeter ng irregular shapes. Um, honestly, ito, it requires a little bit of imagination and a little bit of problem solving. So, kung mahilig kayo sa puzzles growing up, this would be fun for you. If hindi masyado, it will require a little bit of mental stretching. Pero, I believe that you can also do this. Alright, so let's start with a quick review ng mga common na formulas natin. So, ito yung mga shapes natin, and then yung perimeter and area. Now, uh, marami na ako mga videos on these. May mga videos ako on specific shapes. If you haven't seen those yet, uh, click na lang dito sa taas, uh, dun sa i button para makahabol kayo. May playlist na tayo dyan. Okay, so uh, um, dito sa video na to, I'm going to assume na alam nyo na yan. And alam nyo na rin yung mga rules, yung Pythagorean theorem, we're going to employ those din dito. So, if at any point you feel na, ay, masyadong komplikado kasi di ko alam kung ano yung formula or ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng circumference, ng radius, ng di diameter, pause nyo muna tong video na to, go back to the older videos, okay? Kasi importante, may fundamentals kayo dito. Alright, let's use this shape first, medyo basic pa rin siya, um, just to get us going. And then, we're going to proceed to a more complicated shape later. Okay? Now, um, quick recap lang din. Ang perimeter, okay, is yung nasa paligid. Okay? So, kung kunyari, this shape na to, ito yung ito, 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 yan, at yan, at yan. Ipagsasama-samahin ko sila, yan yung perimeter. Now, ano naman ang area? Ang area naman is yung kung ano yung measurement nung laman. Okay? Nung buong yan. Kung ano yung nasa loob nung shape na yon, Okay? Yan yung difference nila. So, perimeter, bakod, area is yung land area, yung laman. Okay? Yan yung pinaka-basic natin. Now, mapapansin nyo dito sa shape na to, may mga parts na kulang. Okay? Bakit? Kasi, katulad ito, ito alam natin 15, 35, 28. Pero ito, hindi natin alam kung ano yan. Hindi natin alam kung ano ito. Eh, kung gusto natin makuha yung perimeter, sabi natin dapat lahat ng sides. Okay? Now, how do you get that? Okay? So, kailangan mo ng konting creativity rin. If you notice, etong line na ito, na nakatayo na yan, okay? At etong line na ito, na 15, pag pinagsama ko sila, di ba? Dahil flat itong shape na to, pag pinagsama ko sila, kasing haba nila yung 20. Okay? Kasi pantay to eh. Pantay to, pantay to. Pareho silang right angle. Okay? So, para makuha ko to, again, it requires a little bit of creativity. All I have to do is to find the number na pag in ko sa 15, lalabas yung 20. Kasi 15 to, 20 to, ano ngayon ito? Okay? Parang kumbaga, kung i-extend ko tong shape na to, magiging isang mahabang rectangle siya. ba? So, ano itong line na ito? So, that would be 20 minus 15. Ito ay actually 5. Okay? Again, sa ko yung kinuha? Kasi itong length na to, 20, itong part niya ay 15, so ang hinahanap ko yung kaputol niya para maging pantay sila, that would be 5. Itong part na to, marami yung nakalimutan na or hindi na naiisip na gawin, kaya nagkakamali sa exam. So, I want you to be creative din as well. Okay? Now, ito namang next, itong section naman na ito, okay? Sabi natin, di ba, hindi mo rin siya alam, walang nakasulat. So, hindi mo makukuha yung perimeter. Kailangan ko siya makuha para makuha ko yung perimeter ng buong shape. Pero alam ko, ito ay 35, ito ay 28. 
At again, kung i-extend ko siya, di ba? Yan. Pantay siya dapat. Okay? So, anong gagawin ko? Ima-minus ko lang yung 28 sa 35. 20, uh, 35 minus 28 would be 7. So, ngayon, alam ko na na itong side na to ay 7, ito ay 5. So, kung hinahanap ko yung perimeter, all I have to do na would be to add everything. So, i-add ko lang yung 7, 5, 28, 15, 35, at 20. Now, how do I do it? Um, ang ginagawa ko, ginugroup po siya together if I have to do mental math. So, for example, ang 5 at saka 15, 20, plus another 20, that is 40, plus 35, that would be 75. Tapos, itong 28 saka 7 kasi to is another 35. So, alam ko the answer would be 110. Now, kung kunyari, hindi kayo comfortable with chunking, Okay, yun yung ginagamit kong technique ha, chunking. Uh, I also discuss that in a video. Ililink ko na lang din dito kung hindi nyo pa napapanood. Kung hindi kayo comfortable, pwede nyo isulat. Okay, pwede nyo naman isulat na isa-isa. So, 7 plus 5 plus 28 plus 15 okay, plus 35 plus 20. Okay, kasi i-add nyo lang lahat. Yun din naman ang lalabas, 110. Okay? So, now alam na natin na yung perimeter nito na shape na to, ang perimeter niya is 110 units. Okay? Hindi natin alam ngayon kung ano yung area. Okay? Pero with yung ginawa natin kanina na fill in lang natin yung mga na missing na sides, alam na natin na this is 5, this is 7. Again, nilagay ko lang uli ha, kasi binura ko yung slate dahil dun sa, tinanggal ko yung solution sa perimeter. Ngayon, dito tayo sa area. Now, itong shape na to in particular, wala yung formula by itself. Pero what you could do, again, be creative about it, would be to divide these into familiar shapes. So, hahatiin ko ngayon siya sa isang rectangle at isa pang rectangle. So, now I have two. Dalawa na yung rectangles ko. At pag pinagsama ko sila, makukuha ko yung area ng buo. Kasi nga, hindi regular yung shape. So, all I have to do now is to find ko anong area nung unang shape. Okay? At dahil siya ay rectangle, ang formula niya ay length times width, okay, which is going to give me 7 times 5 or 35. Ito yung una. And then yung pangalawa naman na area, okay, which will give me again, dahil itong mahabang ito, di ba, ay also rectangle din siya or parallelogram. So, ang gagawin ko, length times width din. Ang length ngayon niya is 35. Ito yung buong mahaba. And then, ang width niya would be 15. Now, bakit hindi 20? Kasi yung 20, kinuha na nga, di ba? Nakuha na to eh, yung part na to. Counted na yan. Hindi ko pwedeng doblehin. Pero itong part na to, hindi pa. So, ito lang part na yan, ang kukunin ko. Yung rectangle lang na yan. So, ito, yung isang side niya, yung width niya is just 15. So, 35 times 15... Okay? Now, again, you can do it ng manually kung gusto nyo 35 times 15. Or yung ginagawa ko, basically, para magagawa ko siyang mental times 10 na lang muna. So, 350 and then times 5. At dahil may teknika ako dyan, that would give me 175 without thinking. So, i-add ko lang yan sa utak ko using chunking then And I would come up with uh, 525. Okay? So, yan yung sagot dyan. Alright? Now, kung naguluhan kayo dito sa ginawa ko dito, just watch my video uh, dun sa speed multiplication. Ililink ko na lang din sa taas at saka yung times 5 na technique. So, yun lang din yung ginawa ko dito. So, meron akong 525. Ngayon, para makuha kayong area ng buong shape, okay, ang gagawin ko ngayon would be, i-add ko yung 35 at yung 525. So, ang kakalabasan niya is 560 units squared. Or square meters, kung meters yan. Or square centimeters, kung centimeters yan. Kung ano man yung unit na yon Squared. Okay? So, kumpleto ko na. Meron na akong perimeter. Meron na akong area. Okay? So, again, ano ang gusto kong takeaway nyo dito? Be creative. Okay? Find shapes. Find lines. Find a way for you to fill in the blanks. Ngayon, magla-level up naman tayo. Medyo mas complicated yung shape natin na ito. Pero, uh, I hope that you stay with me. Okay? Gagamitin lang natin lahat nung mga lessons na tutunan natin in the past to find out kung ano yung sagot dito. Okay? So, let's start with the perimeter muna. Okay? Now, for this, actually, sa perimeter, wala tayo masyadong problema kasi given naman na lahat. Okay? 
Sabi, 30 daw itong length na to. 30 yun. Everything's all good. Medyo maayos naman yung shapes. Walang nawawala. Okay? Kasi matatrace mo lahat. Again, perimeter. Yan. Meron dyan. 8 yan. This is 4, 2, 14, 11, 15. So, wala akong kailangang i-derive. Ia-add ko lang sila lahat. Okay? So, again, um, ako, I like chunking. So, pinagsasama-sama ko yung may mga pattern. So, for example, ito 8 tsaka 2 sa akin, 10 yan. Tapos, itong 11 tsaka 14, that is 25. So, bawas lang siya sa iniisip ko. So, 30, 30, 60, 70, tapos 95, tapos yung 95, 110, 100, 14. So, ang perimeter nito is 114. That is for me. Okay? Ang ginawa ko lang, again, chunking. Combination kasi pampabilis din siya sa exam. So, that's the reason why I do encourage you to practice mental math. Kasi sa exam, lalo sa civil service, walang calculator. Okay? Para lang hindi nyo siya iisa-isahin. Okay? So, ang perimeter natin is 114 units. Okay na tayo dyan. Hindi na problema yun sa atin. Ang magiging medyo challenging dito is the area. Alright, so sabi natin kanina, ang perimeter is 114 units. Ngayon, ano ngayon yung area niya? At dahil ir irregular na naman ang shape natin, we have to be creative sa division ng kung ano-ano yung mga shapes na nandyan. Okay? Now, if you notice, I can draw a line and turn this into a right triangle, which would also give me this Square or this rectangle right here. Hindi pa tayo sure sa kung ano yung measurement niya. Tapos ito na naman. Another shape right here. Parallelogram or rectangle. And then this one. So we have four shapes in total. Okay? Now, wag matala lang tayo isa-isayin lang natin siya. So doon muna tayo sa triangle. Now, ang formula ng triangle is one half base times height. Kaya lang wala tayong given na base or height. Ang binigay lang sa atin is... 15 daw etong hypotenuse niya. Okay? Now, paano ko malalaman yung base tsaka height? Again, babalik tayo dun sa we have to be creative. So, sabi natin, 30 itong buong haba na ito. Okay? Ngayon, kung pantay siya dito, okay, sa line na ito, ano ang meron? Para makuha ko tong part na to, na yan lang, all I have to do would be to look at kung ano yun na yung given. Sabi dito, Ito daw ay 8, ito ay 2, ito ay 11. So, ibig sabihin, itong height na ito would be 8 plus 2, 10 plus 11. That would be 21. So, kung 21 tong height na ito, okay, at pantay siya dito, di ba? Ibig sabihin, itong part na to, ang gagawin ko lang would be 30 minus 21, which would give me 9. Okay? 9 ngayon, yan. Again, sa ko yung kinuha? 30 tsaka 21. So, para mabuo ko yan, maipantay ko siya, 9 ang idadagdag ko ngayon. Okay? So, ngayon, meron na akong height, which is 9. Ngayon, ano naman ngayon yung base? Okay? Ang base ko would be this part right here. Now, again, if you can be creative, makikita mo, meron akong binigay dito na 4 at 14 which would give me this part na to, na ito. At kung ano man yung part na yan, okay, idadagdag ko yan sa number na ito para makuha ko yung 30. Okay, dahil pantay naman yan eh. So, ano gagawin ko? Para makuha ko itong part na to, okay, i-add ko ngayon yung 14 at saka 4, which would give me 18. Tapos, kung 18 ibig sabihin itong part na to, Etong part na to would be yung difference ng 18 tsaka 30. So, ang gagawin ko is 30 minus 18. And makukuha ko ngayon itong pahalang which is 12. Okay? So, dun muna tayo mag-start sa triangle. Sabi natin, 1 half base times height. Nakuha na natin yung pinaka-height niya which is 9. And then yung kanyang base which is 12. So, susolve lang natin yan. 1 half of 9 and 12 okay so um the more you practice yung mga properties din ng multiplication you would notice pwede kong gawing 12 divided by 2 na lang 6 na lang times 9 
this would give me 54. So, yan yung unang area, area ng triangle na yan. Okay? Now, covered na yan, hindi ko na problema yan, dito na ako sa next na shape. Okay? Which yung, is yung purple natin na paralelogram na yan. Sabi natin, ang formula niyan ay length times width. So, ito yung ating pinaka width, 11. Tapos, ano yung length? Now, if you see, itong line na to, shared line siya ng triangle at saka rectangle. So, ibig sabihin nun, ito ay 12 din. So, gawin lang natin 12 times 11. So, that would give me 132. Yan na siya. Okay? So, kung nagtataka rin kayo saan ko kinuha yung 132, basically, yung ginawa ko, 120, kasi 12 times 10, 120 plus another 12, that is 132. Okay? That's how I do mental math. Again, the discuss ko sa speed math na multiplication. Next, we have yung mas mahaba na, or, na blue na rectangle na yan. Tapos yung kanyang mga details, we have, sabi natin, itong length na to, hindi tayo sure. Okay? Kasi pinutol na siya. Pero dahil alam natin na itong part na to ay 4, all we have to do to get this part, yung counted lang sa rectangle na yan, is minus lang natin yung 4 sa 30. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 26 ang haba niyan. Okay? Now, ano ang height niya? Ang height niya would be 2 plus 8. Okay? So, ang height nitong part na to ay 10. Okay? Or you can also do, the, do it like this. Sabi natin kasi 30 itong buo. Meron ka ng 9, meron ka ng 11. So, ang gagawin ko lang is... 9 plus 11 is 20, 30 minus 20, 10 pa rin naman. Yun ang beauty nun kasi it will make sense all around kung tama yung sagot mo. So, ang formula lang natin, again, length times width, gagawin lang natin na uh, 26 times 10, which will give me 260. So, tapos na rin uli yung blue na yan. Doon na tayo ngayon sa isa pa nating paralelogram, yung yellow. Length times width, meron tayong 4, tsaka 8. So, 4 times 8 lang. Okay, so that will be 32. Okay? So, now that we have that, ito na, meron na tayo ng triangle, meron na tayo ng itong shape na yan, meron na tayo nito, and then here, kompleto na natin lahat ng mga area nila. So, all we have to do now is to add all of them. So, ipagsasama-sama lang natin, we have the 54, 132, Tapos 260 and then yung huling 32. That's all you need to do is to add those. This will be 8. Tapos ito, 11, uh, 14, 17. Tapos 4. So the answer would be 478 units squared. So ano ibig sabihin units squared? Kung yan ay centimeter, yan ay meter, kung ano man yung unit na yan, you have to square it kasi area yung pinag-uusapan natin. Okay? So again, it's all about uh, you breaking down the parts nung, nung shape na yon, nung irregular polygon na yon, and the, into different parts and then sections ng mga familiar na mga shapes na meron ka na at pagsasamasamahin mo lang sila. Okay? Now, I will be posting a quick quiz on this. I'm going to be posting another quick question on my Instagram related to this topic. So if you don't follow me yet on Instagram, follow me at Like Amaravilla for more of these para masigurado ko rin na nakukuha nyo yung ating lesson, okay? So, I use the uh, quiz function sa Instagram story for that. And I hope na makasagot kayo na tama sa susunod. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo ko mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information on the reviewers, review events, online review program, and other things like that. If you have any requests then for topics that you want me to talk about, don't forget to comment down below. And ipipila ko yan sa mga pupating pa lang na video. So again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I try to post at least one new video lesson every week. So kung ayaw nyo may mamiss, hit nyo yung bell para malaman ninyo pag may bagong upload. Alright? Thank you guys for watching. As we always say, this is a team never stop learning. Aja aja, kain yan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.